So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every single Friday. In today's DAX Fridays, we are going to talk about the order of evaluation when we are calculating things. The order of evaluation of DAX formulas, measures, calculated columns, okay? So we're going to start small and then we're going to increase the order of complexity. So first of all, we're using the Northwind data set that we always use. You will be able to get this file to test, but I recommend you, you test on your own big files. That's what you will see the difference. So we are going to start first with a formula that contains only one function. We want to calculate, for example, the number of orders on the Northwind data set. And for that, we're going to use a function called distinct count that exists also in Excel. And that function has just one parameter, which is a column. So to calculate the number of orders of the Northwind company that the Northwind company has, it, you just go distinct count, put the order ID, and it will count the number of orders. There is just one parameter, nothing to talk about regarding order, right? That gets calculated first and last, and that's all. Now, what happens if we use a function that has more than one parameter? If we want to calculate sales, so sales for this, we're going to use a function called sum x because we want to do it in the measure. And sum x has two parameters, a table and a expression. So the way sum x works is you provide it a table and then it will do a calculation that you specified based on the table that you gave it. Okay. So in this case, we're given it the order details table. You can give any table filter that you want. The better filter, the better performance. So you give it a table and then it says, okay, now give me unit price times quantity minus subtract sales. And it will do that. So the order of evaluation for DAX functions most of them, except there's always an except, but most of them is the order of the parameters. Okay, so first parameter first, second, second, third, third, four, four. So if you have a function that has four parameters, it will be first, second, third, and four. And that's the order it will get evaluated. Okay, good. Now, there's exceptions to every rule. Okay, and that is a rule that doesn't have an exception, not that I know of, anyhow. Um, that was an interesting. Anyhow, calculate. Calculate does not work like that. So when you, you already know that. Let's, we're going to calculate the number of orders for our precious queso cabrales, you know, the Asturias queso cabrales. Um, we're going to put uh, orders queso cabrales. And this is calculate. Then we put orders. You've done this a thousand times. And now we're going to provide a table that is filtered, right? Because we want to have the orders only for queso cabrales. So we are going to do filter the products table with products name equal to queso cabrales according to my dad, the best cheese in the world, just so you know. So what's going on here? Now, if this was a number, a normal function, you would go first calculate and then you would say, oh, first parameter, first, second, second. So first calculate the number of orders. Mm -mm -mm. Calculate does not work like that. It does the opposite. So you start from the, from the, the inner thing and then you go out, <laughs> okay? So in, out in out so in this case the first parameter no and then it goes so where's my second parameter is this one filter and then once you go to filter filter will do what filter does first parameter first second second so you will go first and then you say okay filter will go in and say okay give me the product table and then i want to have queso cabrales only for that product table so first product table parameter one second filter queso cabrales I always like to see the table. So this is basically what's happening. It's going to get the entire table of products. I'm just going to put product name. And then it's going to say, once it has entire product table, it's going to say, okay, now filter queso cabrales. 
So this is what you get. But then when you go back to calculate, you remember calculate wanted to have the number of orders. So we need to have orders together with the product table. And because there is a relationship between products and order details, the product table can actually grab columns from the order table. So what is happening is actually that the product table in the background, you don't see this, this happens everything in the background. So the product table actually gets order ID in the same table because there is a relationship. If there wasn't, you wouldn't get anything, okay? But because there is, it gets the order tables and then it feeds that table to calculate. And then calculate say, oh, great. Uh, now I can calculate the number of distinct, uh, what is order queso? And it is 38 instead of the total number of orders, which is 800 and something, right? You see how, how it works? So we have, because it is calculate, we have first the filter, a filter will get first the table, then filter it, grab the information from the table, order table, and then feed it to calculate and calculate, we do the count and then we get a result. It would be fantastic if we could see the tables that were built in the, you know, behind the scenes so we know what's going on. How about that for an improvement? <laughs> Anyhow, okay. Now what happens if we, Put, you want to add another filter into this. So we want to have two conditions. We want to have that the product name is Queso Cabrales and we want to have product, uh, another filter is going to be, uh, uh, so product is Queso Cabrales and then we want to have that the category Sorry that I didn't have a better example. This has to be like that. And then category ID is bigger or equal or equal to four. So now we are saying this is what was happening. Again, it's calculate. So the first parameter does not get executed first. It goes into the next one. And then the next one that it hits is folder. Folder evaluates the first parameter first and the second second. So the first parameter here is queso cabrales and the second one is product ID. Okay, so this is what is happening in the background. Let's, let's do the same uh, activity. So it goes to the product table and it says, okay, from the product name, gets the entire product table and then say, okay, I would just want to have queso cabrales gets that table, the entire table, but just with Queso Cabrales, and then it feeds to the next filter. And the next filter was where, 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 where category ID was for it. Okay. And then it feeds this to calculate. Look at this. What happens now if we do like this? We put this one first. And then we put here product name equal to queso cabrales. We're going to do the same exercise. It goes first, calculate, does not have the first parameter first, goes to the next one, filter, first parameter first. So it's going to filter our product table, not by queso cabrales first. This is not going to happen first. This is going to happen first. So where product category ID uh, is greater or equal than four, apply. So it's going to generate this table. As you can see, the table is much bigger than the other one before. Now we need to have all products and all the all whatever, but this is a bigger table and then gets this table and it gives to the next filter, which is queso cabrales. Now is the queso cabrales going to and that gets added to calculate and calculate the dust distinct count. You see the difference? So depending on the order that you ask your filters to be, you put your filters on, 
different tables will be fed to your formula. The results will be the same, absolutely. The performance will be the same, probably not. Performance depends on a lot of things, okay? So my recommendation to you is like this. Go to your a big model that you have, test this, go to DAX Studio or here and test the performance and see what, see what happens. Understand a little bit what gets done in the background and why. It's going to be useful then when you're getting into performance troubles. But still, the summary of the whole thing is normal function, parameter one first, parameter two, second, third. So it gets in the order of the parameters. The parameters are laid out. If it is calculate, it doesn't. So we will have another video about calculate and order of evaluation, okay? It is already 11 minutes, so it's Friday. We will do it another time. But have a great weekend. Give this a go. Don't just watch it, test it. It just, it's much easier to learn. I'll see you again on Monday. And until then, enjoy your weekend. And bye bye.